you're enjoying these videos to help you prepare for your math MTELs. We're going to continue the these videos as part of the 2013-2014 MTEL Math Workshop Series. The problem that we're going to do today is number 12 on the 53 elementary math exam. So let's take a closer look and let me know what you think. First thing we want to do is read over the problem. So number 12. Multiplying by 3, adding 2, and dividing by 5 is the inverse of which of the following operations? And then it gives us this a whole bunch of different operations. We could divide by 3, subtracting 2, and multiply by 5. We could mul multiplying by 3 fifths and subtracting 2, multiplying by 5, subtracting 2, and dividing by 3, subtracting 2, and dividing by 5 thirds. This can get very confusing. So we're going to keep it very simple, this problem. It's asking us to start with multiplying by 3. So we're doing, we're doing um, multiply by 3, we're adding 2, and we're dividing by 5. Now when we're dealing with the inverse, that's the key word here, we have to not only switch, um, switch the order of operations, but we have to flip the operations. So instead of, we're going to start with the last one. Instead of dividing by 5, we're going to think about starting with multiplying by 5. And instead of adding 2, because that's the next one, we're going to subtract 2. And the last one, instead of multiplying by 3, we're going to divide by 3. Now this is the reverse, the inverse of those operations. And that gets you to this one here, doesn't it? Now, if we were thinking about this, if we were going to go to a much, you know, another way of thinking about this, actually writing out the equation, that would bring it to a whole other level. I'm not so, I think I'm just going to introduce that to the teachers that are watching right now that, you know, are going to be faced with type of problems like this. But definitely, uh, if, you, if, you're, if you're happy with knowing how to get to C right now with that strategy, you should stick with that. Um, but just really quickly, if we're thinking about X, if I wanted to get the equation of this, it would be 3x minus 2 divided by 5 would equal your y. All right, that's all I want to do with that right now. I just want to be able to, for this problem here, be able to uh, show you the actual um, um, portion of an equation where we could write out 3x minus 2 divided by 5 and get you to y. And then we could, in later videos, we'll look at how to write the inverse equation. Or sometimes you think of the inverse, uh, sometimes we think of this as f of x. And we're, gonna, we're actually going to find the inverse of f of x. But we're not going to worry about that right now for this video. Okay, thanks team so much for watching this. If you if read it, watch it a few more times, if you need help, you should attend one of the MTEL Math workshops. It's a nice way to put the pieces together and to uh, um, save a lot of time. All right, team. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I wanted to uh, encourage everyone, if you have time, to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.